In the late 1950s, small germanium-based amplifier valves began to appear on the market, which were more efficient than vacuum tubes in low-power applications. Each valve behaved as a combination of resistors that could transfer the resistive value between its input and output circuits, hence its name in English, transfer resistor. They operated at low voltages and were flexible for multiple experiments. This time I want to suggest an experiment with a mixer for two microphones. It is an experiment of the kind you want to do just for the pleasure of watching it work, as well as learning something new as you go. This is the pictorial diagram of the circuit, and this other one is the schematic diagram. As you can see, it is made up of two identical circuits, each of them with its own independent volume control to handle each input signal. The mixture of both signals being carried out by means of resistors R7 and R8, the combination of both signals appearing in the output plug J3. Analyzing one of the channels, we will first take a look at the channel shown in the upper half of the drawing. The signal from the first microphone enters the mixer through jack J1, then continues to potentiometer R1, which controls the volume of that channel. The capacitor C1 allows the passage of the microphone signal, but prevents the escape of the bias current from the base of the transistor. Resistor R3 performs two functions. It takes voltage from the collector of the transistor to provide the bias current to the base of that same transistor. At the same time, it feeds back the collector signal of opposite polarity than the base signal, thereby improving the stability, lowering the gain, and then improving the response to the various frequencies. Finally, the signal present in the collector goes on to resistor R7 and through it to the output socket J3. The channel for the second microphone does exactly the same thing as the first channel, except that the signal path is, in this case, through J2, R2, C2, then through the other transistors to go on through R8 until it reaches J3, which delivers the mix output. It can be tested with various general purpose audio transistors until the best results are achieved. I hope this video has been useful to you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Ciao,